This is a leather star. Um, it also has a nickname garlic star because when it's out of the water for a short period of time it starts to smell like garlic. It's much smoother than other sea stars. When you're looking for a sea star's mouth, it can be found in the middle of the animal right here. Sea stars have two stomachs. One of those stomachs is actually able to come out of its body um, and into the prey that it is going to eat. Here we can see the tube feet of a bat star and a mottled star. Um, tube feet here are what is used by sea stars to pull open their prey. They usually do that with bivalves like mussels or oysters. This is the underside of a bat star. With all of its tube feet still moving around. The middle is where its mouth is located. Barnacles are filter feeders. You can see the little eyelashes coming out of the shell, um, and that is the cirri of the barnacle, or the feet of the barnacle. The cirri of a barnacle help them uh, eat plankton. Um, basically, it is sweeping plankton into the shell of the creature and then kicked down towards the head where it is eaten. The giant acorn barnacle is one of the largest barnacles in the world and it lives subtitally, so you would have to go diving in order to find one of these. When acorns are young, they're actually free-floating, and so they would swim around in the water before finding a place to park themselves. The head of the barnacle is at the bottom of the body, whereas the feet kind of go up into the air. So the feet are actually what come out of the shell during feeding. A barnacle will never move after it has found its spot for adulthood and will just continue growing there. This is just a size comparison of the two species of barnacle we have. These ones are the common acorn barnacle and next to it is the giant barnacle. Um, so these two would live in very different environments. The common barnacle lives intertidally in the high intertidal zone and the giant barnacle lives subtidally. We also learned about feather duster worms today. Feather duster worms live in these aggregated clumps and they protect their body by forming a um, tube around their body. The tentacles of a tube worm are very sensitive to light. So if a shadow passes over them, they are quick to respond by pulling in um, to their body to protect themselves. The tentacles not only allow them to filter feed plankton, but also allow them to breathe. It helps uh, essentially act like gills.